Hi guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and from today I'm gonna start a series on Haskell programming languages, and it will be mainly focused for students who are enrolled in any bachelor or master program. Uh, so let's get started with the installation. So how we can uh, install the Haskell setup for our local machine. So uh, here you are. Uh, accessing haskell.org and in the download section you have to click on this link let me just zoom it out so ghcup this is the default uh, terminal for the haskell uh, program and it will compile it for you right so uh, here you will just get uh, this command as according to your operating system i am on windows so it's uh, showing me for windows if you will be on mac or linux it will show you accordingly so just copy this and they are saying uh, run it in your terminal and i will just paste it there and hit enter right so i have already done that just click enter and mm, like uh, allow all the uh, permissions which they ask and then it will just do everything for you okay and uh, i want you to know if you are enrolled in any bachelor or master program you can contact me on this whatsapp or email regarding about your coursework or projects you are working on right great let's get started so how we can uh, print uh, in haskell right uh, we are gonna uh, obviously print hello world as we are doing the first class on Haskell so I will just say main and then equal to and then print it's really simple guys and then I will just say hello world and you can just hit enter or run it right so you have got hello world in your Haskell as your first program. Let me change it to something. So with my name and it's giving me the output. Right. Now let's see how we can define variables in the Haskell. Right. So I am just saying variable one and I will just simply give it a value of two. Right and then i will just print it out so where one and you will see i will just print out its value right so if you are from python it's kind of uh, like that up till now but you will see uh, it getting a lot of messy when you will be dealing with the functional programming concepts in Haskell because Haskell is a function programming language or FP for short right so we will be like uh, doing everything necessary in Haskell and I will be starting for log also for you guys so just wait for it and let me just uh, show you how you can print out multiple variables or multiple lines in the Haskell right and what are these these are just uh, uh, a variable declaration or you can say a signature of Haskell which is uh, assigned automatically uh, in the VS Code as I have extensions already installed for that so you uh, that haskell know what it's dealing with right so four is an integer so it automatically uh, recognize as integer and give it a uh, value type right or signature whatever you're calling it and uh, let's see how we can uh, now uh, print two variables so if i do that you can see i'm getting an error so it's not like uh, whenever you are dealing with python or in any other programming languages you can use just uh, this plus sign or comma sign to just certain concatenation but it's not like that so what you have to do is let me just show you so you are gonna use do uh, function and then uh, you will just 
print var1 and then print var2 so really simple and you go 2 and 4 oh, now let me just uh, change it to a list so I can just say and you can see the signature is also uh, like converting into an uh, integer list with these brackets and let's see now so we have successfully created a list in Haskell and then I can just obviously make a string right so that's how you can uh, print variables and create variables in your Haskell programming setup and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Hi guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and welcome to the R Programming series. And today we're gonna talk about how we can read files in Haskell programming. So we are gonna read text files to be specific. And I want you to know if you are enrolled in any bachelor or master program, you can contact me on this WhatsApp or mail to discuss about your coursework or projects you are working on. Uh, great, let's get started with the topic of today. Uh, let's start with making a file. So I will just name it as mytfile.txt as is the text file and I will just say I am web and I am teaching Haskell right. uh, let's read this file through our Haskell programming right so what I will do is I'll just start my main function and in the main because I want to uh, execute multiple lines so I'm just saying this do and what I want this to do is uh, making a variable first of all with the name file content or whatever you want I'll just store this store these files and this cont uh, file content variable and in the Haskell it's better to use this assignment operator right so it's the arrow towards this or it is uh, uh, called as it's drawn from right and what drawn from is read file which is built-in function in Haskell uh, whenever you install it so it's come built-in with the Haskell right and then I will just say my file dot txt and then I can say uh, print it out let's say print it not giving us let's see by running okay so we are getting uh, I am aware and I am teaching Haskell same as this but it's including the uh, new line character here right so we can just use another function which is put strln and it will just take care of this uh, slash n or new line character and let's see so we are getting our result as expected uh, great so that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one with some other uh, tutorial on haskell programming hi uh, guys it's me ub programmer and welcome to the haskell programming series and in this lecture i will show you how to traverse a list in the haskell with the map function so I use map function in Haskell to traverse a list and for those who don't know traverse uh, it is an operation uh, for which uh, we can use uh, to traverse or to iterate through our list and do some operation on the element uh, one by one right so uh, let's just create a list first and I will do this in a do block which you can just create by the command main equal do and below this line with this indentation you can just write your lines of code right and 
I will just create a list which I will say my list and using this let keyword I will just create it and then let's say I have first four even number in my list for just demo right you can have anything in your list and then I will just say let and this time it will be a traversed list and here I will use the map function and uh, if you are enrolled in any uh, masters of uh, bachelor program you can contact me on this whatsapp or this mail to discuss about your coursework or projects you are working on right okay let's use the map function here and map function as have two arguments in which first will be the operation which we want to do on our list uh, elements one by one and the second will be our list so in this case I will just pass my list which is uh, this variable which has the list and so this map function what it will do is just do this operation on this list one by one so in Haskell is just this one line of code you just do that right and then I can just uh, print this traverse list and uh, I hope it will work so let's just run this program and I have uh, set up this uh, environment with the code runner extension and you can see we have just uh, did this operation succe successfully with this map function right and the operation was very simple just adding 10 to each element in our list right and we got 12 because 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 and 14 and so on so this is how you can traverse a list or any sequence in the Haskell and uh, that's it for this video I will see you in the next one thanks Hey guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and today we're gonna talk about reduction process in the Haskell. And for this, we will use the fold R function, which means fold right, and it's basically the folding operation uh, which we will use in the Haskell. And if you are enrolled in any master's or uh, bachelor program, uh, you can contact me on this whatsapp or email to discuss about your coursework or projects you are working on right okay let's get started with the fold r so what i will do is just give you a demo about it how to use it so i'm creating a main block and in this i will just create a list i will say my list and let's uh, give it some values two four uh, eight and uh, let's ten okay and then I will just create a variable which I will say sum of list because uh, that's what the folding uh, will do for us right it will just uh, take this first element add it to this one then take their sum and add it to this third element and so on right so that's how the uh, folding will work and for this we will call just fold r and then give it a operator uh, which will be of course addition and then uh, we'll just give it a starting value which will be 0 so 0 plus 2 and and then I will just pass out my list which is my list yeah. okay my list yeah. and then I will just print out my list sorry for the typing uh, sum of list okay uh, I hope it will work let's just yeah it's not my list it's my list yeah 
let's just run the program and see what we got as the result yeah so we got 24 which is some of these elements which are present in our list and why this uh, uh, underlining is here because it's saying you can just use this sum operation but I want uh, you to like know that folding is the main operation which we use in the Haskell and folding is the like main concept uh, in the in the Haskell or functional programming uh, in this paradigm right so uh, I can't cover it all in the uh, in this one video but yeah if you have questions about it you can always text me right and uh, this will also just do the same let's just run it and you can see the both uh, results are the same right okay uh, so this was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and in this video we're gonna talk about filtering process in the Haskell in which we will use this filter operation or function uh, whatever you wanna say and if you are enrolled in any masters or bachelor program you can always contact me on this whatsapp and email to discuss about your coursework or projects you are working on. Okay, let's get started with the filter and the main topic of the video right uh, the main is equal to do that's what I'm making a main block which will be executed whatever I will write in it okay and let's make it small and create a list right I will just say let my list equal and I will just keep it simple one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten right and let's uh, filter it and use some conditioning in it right I will just say yeah okay so I would say let filter list so this will be my filter list uh, which will be like uh, passing through a condition whatever I set right and then we'll use our filter operation and what this want is a condition for this first operate uh, operation and then our list right so let's just remove it and give it a condition I would just say let's uh, print out the elements which are greater than uh, choose the number 4 right and then I will just pass my list here my list okay and let's just print it print filtered list and in the Haskell uh, with the with the naming of this variable make sure that uh, you use small letter or uh, small case in the uh, starting of the uh, naming right otherwise it will just give you warnings okay so we got no warnings now all clear let's just run it and you can see we got all the elements which are greater than 4 so that's the main motive of this uh, filter operation and obviously if it uh, it uh, if it will be using in a larger project or the uh, scale of the project is like big then uh, it can play many roles but I just wanted to show a demo right and uh, that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you can contact me if you have any questions about it I'll see you in the next video thanks for